An electric motor can provide a constant torque of 0.9 meter newtons to fan blades with 0.2 kilograms meter squared of rotational inertia. If friction torque is negligible, how long does it take for the fan to accelerate angularly from a low setting of 8 radians per second angular speed to a high setting of 22 radians per second angular speed? For this problem, we can first use the net torque equals to I alpha. We have the torque, we have the I, so we can find the alpha, the angular acceleration. And we also have the initial angular velocity and the final angular velocity. Since the fan has a constant torque acting on it, that means it's doing constant angular acceleration motion, which means if we know three things, these three, we can use the kinematics equations to find the time. Or we can use the impulse equation. Let's see, in the translational world, for translational motion, we have impulse equals to the average force times time, and if this is uh, the net force, then the impulse by the net force would equal to the change in momentum, which would be m times delta v. Now, this is for rotational motion, so we have to look at the angular impulse. The angular impulse equals to the average torque times time. And if this torque is the net torque, then it would equal to delta L, the change in angular mo momentum. And this would equal to, instead of m delta v, it's I times delta omega. If the net torque is not zero, then the angular momentum would not be conserved because delta L would not be zero. So we have the constant torque, 0.9. The time, we don't know. That's what we're looking for. And this equals to the I times delta omega. The I, the rotational inertia, is 0.2. Delta omega is the final angular speed minus the initial. The final angular speed is 22. The initial is 8. So this will give us uh, delta T is uh, 3.11 seconds.